the RDC Kings hockey team prepping for the team's first season in the ACAC after a lengthy absence. The experience is now a common bond for this group. They're all coming in as rookies to, to our program, so I can see that they, you know, they're treating each other with respect and everybody's kind of on the same level, so that definitely helps you know, team dynamics. We're all getting to be pretty close and it's, it's a different dynamic, but it's, uh, I like the way it's shaping up and it looks like it'll be a fun year. Barnstable, a former Red Deer Rebel, says he jumped at the chance to come back to Red Deer to use his Western Hockey League scholarship. I find that the, the highest point of my, of my career has been in Red Deer and I enjoyed my time here. I made lots of friends. I, I love the city and um, I like the idea of the Red Deer College being um, a new team. I know they've been in the league prior years, but just getting a fresh start. He brings with him experience on the ice, along with being a student athlete, a situation some of his teammates might not be familiar with. Now they have to balance that with the school. And as I've told them already, school comes first because it doesn't do you or the team any good if you're not around because of grades. I know a lot of it, hockey's hockey. You know, they, these guys know hockey, but now you add the school aspect, which is, which is a huge thing to add on, and hopefully I can be a mentor for them there, and um, as well as on the ice, and just someone that they can look up to. This version of the Kings is going to be a skating team, which is a trademark of the coach, but they'll also bring some grit besides being able to skate. That's the number one ingredient, and from there I tried to really recruit guys with good hockey sense, that were smart with and without the puck, and guys that had character, you know, compete level regardless of size. The Kings take on Sate September 13th in Penhold. For Go Central, I'm Jim Claggett.